Hi friends, Kaylee here again. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how we can manage some feelings of anger or being upset in situations and how we can really take back control during those times. It can feel like when we're in the red zone, we're super heated. It can feel really, really difficult to take back control of that and have a conversation and communicate how we're feeling. And so it's important to remember some of these tools to take back control of that situation. Something that's super, super important is your breathing. Um, when you get angry, sometimes your breath shortens, your heart races, you're sweating. You know, there's a lot going on in your body and it feels out of control, but you can actually take back control of that by just taking a few deep breaths. It slows down your heart rate. It's gonna clear your mind a little bit. Just make sure that when you're taking those deep breaths, you're breathing in for four seconds and breathing back out for four seconds. Doing that a few times is really gonna slow everything down for you and you're gonna be able to have that conversation about why you're so upset and why you're feeling angry during that time. Another really important thing to remember is that you know, aside from breathing, you can count to 10. Maybe you count to 20, maybe you count to 100. Again, that's gonna be you taking back control of the situation. You have control over that counting, right? And then it's gonna, again, help just slow everything down. We take deep breaths with that, we're counting. You know, maybe you need to write it down, draw it out. There are a ton of things that you can do to help with that feeling of anger. And sometimes you might need some help with that. Sometimes you might need to ask for help or someone's there to guide you through some of these exercises and that that's okay too. What I always want you to remember is that it's okay to feel angry, but I don't want you to feel like you don't have control over that situation. Feel angry, feel upset, feel what you need to feel, but always remember that you can take back control of that moment by utilizing these coping skills to calm yourself back down. So I want you to think about some things that have made you upset before, practice some of these coping skills, really get used to them, and add them to your tool belt to be able to use when you're upset.